This video is partially a response to comments about the changes in the Disney remakes, and partially just pointing out something people don't often get. Dumbo has a lot of flack for one character, Jim the Crow. He's stereotypically black, always smoking, has a stereotypical accent, and his group's musical number is very often compared to a minstrel show. One of their entries in TV tropes is actually Magical Negro. This character was completely cut out from the Tim Burton remake as a result. However, I take some serious issue with people calling the depiction racist. First, smoking was not considered a vice at the time. The intent was to portray an older brother character, and essentially everyone smoked publicly, including both of the leaders of the Allies during World War II. Second, the idea of a minstrel show is not in and of itself bad. Indeed, it is the precursor to modern sketch comedy. While some of the shows did perpetuate bad stereotypes, the idea that because there's a group that mildly somewhat resembles something that was once used badly means we have to avoid it gets absurd. Third, I take issue with the idea that there are a group of black men who show up for one scene just to help out a white kid. The reason? Who said Dumbo was white? The original 1940s audience would know this reference, but it's mostly lost on young viewers. Dumbo doesn't take place in a random fictional traveling circus. Question. What is Dumbo's real name? What did his mother call him? Jumbo Jr. Dumbo's father is none other than the famous Jumbo of the P.T. Barnum Circus, an African elephant. Typical circus elephants are Asian, including all of the ones we see in the film. Realizing this fact changes the entire nature of the story. Dumbo isn't just the story of a kid with a deformity. It's the story of a mixed-race child being constantly bullied for his heritage, namely his father's ears. The story has an additional layer of tragedy, as this is obviously after the train accident that caused Jumbo's death in 1985. So, not only is he a mixed-race child, but being raised by a single mother. As an interesting aside, African-Asian elephant crossbreeds do not work well. The only live birth recorded lived only 10 days and dying from an infection. Most other hybrids were deformed and didn't make it to term. However, you can see Mahdi, just like Dumbo, did have his father's ears. Now, back on point. Let's say you remove these characters because they remind people of bad stereotypes. Now you have a different problem. Notice something a little different about the live-action Dumbo? When you remove minority characters that have slightly outdated stereotypes, you often end up with all-white casts. You've also removed the only unambiguously nice characters from the entire movie outside of the protagonists making the entire story much more melancholy. This has happened repeatedly with other films. Many older films are slowly being deleted from history due to including racial stereotypes. However, this has the effect of wiping out minorities from film history. It gets even worse when they try to avert these stereotypes in new films, as they end up writing out long-standing minority characters in an attempt to make them more modern. We can't expect everything to be perfect. However, when we try and remove all stereotypes, we end up taking a story about racism that sold like hotcakes in 1941 and replace it with a generic single father and free willing mashup storyline. Sometimes you just have to accept that not everything was perfect back then. 
trying to make it perfect by wiping out all the color makes it clean, but also completely sterile. Sometimes you just need to sit back and watch an elephant fly. Thanks for listening, y'all.